Recently, I've created two new transitions that were missing in DaVinci Resolve, in my opinion, jump in and out transitions, especially jump out or zoom out transition. This preset was not available at all. Today, I will walk you step by step how to create them. If you're not into Fusion, you can get those transitions from my coffee page. All you need to do is to drag and drop the DRFX file into the Fusion, confirm the installation, sometimes a reboot of the resolve is needed, and you're ready to use them in the edit page as any other video transitions. It's fully customizable. Hope you're gonna like it. And now I will show you how to create them by yourself. We're gonna base on the zoom in transition available by default in DaVinci, in free version also. Right click on the transition and open in Fusion page. So what we've got here, media out, our media in one and media in two. Let me close effect menu and switch to single viewer. And this is a group of nodes responsible for zoom in transition. So I will ungroup it to see what's inside. Right click ungroup. Not much. We've got two transform nodes and one dissolve node. So for jump in transition, what we need is a camera shake effect. So select dissolve node, open selection tool, shift space, search for camera shake. That one and add. So this is how it looks so far. First, let's get rid of this missing Canva. So change edges to mirror. Also, I would change frequency method to square wave to give it a more ragged look. Rotation deviation to maximum. I would decrease the overall strength. So this is how it looks. In my opinion, the transition lasts too long. So let's go back to edit page and shorten it to maybe 10 frames. Okay, it's better. Let's open it back in fusion page. And what we need to do is in camera shake node, tap settings, there is a blend parameter that need to be animated. I'm gonna use anim curves, so right click, modify with anim curves. A keyframe will be created and we can switch to modifier staff. I explain anim curves in more details in this video, link in the description. Today I will basically show you what to set to make it works. So first off, check mirror. Switch from linear to easing and choose cubic, cubic. So if you switch back to tools tab, watch the value of the blend parameter. When I'm on the first frame, the blend value is zero. It will gradually increase to one when we approach the middle of the time frame, and back to zero when we move to the end of the transition. So the first transition is ready. Now let's create jump out transition, which can also be used as zoom out transition. So let's make a copy of our existing jump in transition, hold alt and drag it, open in fusion page. We need to modify the transform nodes. Let me open double preview window and I will preview background node BG on the left and foreground FG on the right. So this is how they both behave now. We need to make opposite movement. Instead of zooming in, we need zoom out. So with the BG node selected, open modifiers tab and check invert. But we also need to adjust the scale and offset. So I will put 06 for the offset and 04 for the scale. For the FG, which is foreground, we also need to check invert, but the scale and offset need to be one. It will be more clear if you create this effect on your own and play a bit with these settings. If not, just do the exact things and it will work. Okay, so let's check it in the edit page. Looks okay for me. One more tip regarding jump out transition. If we set the overall strength control to zero, it will behave as zoom out transition, which is cool because there is only zoom in transition available as default. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers and see you in the next one.